factory worker Nitin Parmar processes heaps of waste and turns it into something useful. ये मारा मदर मारी वाइफ यू कह के आउ प्लस प्लास्टिक मारे आउ पन बने हमने नवाई लागे क्योंकि वेस्ट आलू बहुतो पड़े हुए हैं हमने आपके ख्याल ना है हमारा काम डामा कि आप वेस्ट मारे आउ बहुतो पन बनी सके हैं इसलिए हमने नवाई लागे कि आउ पन बनी सके हैं नितिन मे नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द साइंस बिहाइंड हिज एवरी ड When natural sand, used as a molding material in ferrous and non-ferrous metal casting industries, becomes unsuitable after several cycles of use, it piles up as a waste material and is called foundry dust. Foundry dust is actually a hazardous material which is a byproduct of industry. Uh, it also many a times contains uh, metals, heavy metals, which can be harmful especially for the fertility of the uh, soil as well as the water because if this is disposed of uh, without, uh, I mean, in open space and if it comes in contact with flowing water, especially when it rains, then what would happen is that it will uh, penetrate into the soil, disturb the fertility of the soil and also contaminate the groundwater. Instead of disposing it off in the open, if foundry dust is collected and combined with plastic waste in a 70-30 ratio, you get silica plastic blocks, which Nitin makes. If you walk down the bridge near us, uh, in our factory, you'll find open dumping of sand and waste and debris all over. Now this problem has started increasing as the industry is growing. If you relate it to the projected growth of India, which is going to be two times to three times, when you're saying you're going for a five billion trillion dollar economy, where are we today? Maybe at one, 1 1.5 trillion. So we are talking of scaling up three times. When we scale up three times, the dust will also scale up three times. So this to me is a very huge uh, uh, problem statement which is uh, existing. Silica plastic blocks were the brainchild of Manish Kothari, an industrialist in the business of designing, supplying and servicing machinery to foundry industries in Gujarat's Anand district. His research revealed that 100,000 conventional bricks require 10 tons of coal to be produced. The same number of silica building blocks, he found out, can be produced with 300% less energy. Manish teamed up with Upcycle Chakra, a recycling waste company in Anand, which helped him create the first silica plastic blocks in 2018. Each silica plastic block starts its journey as a dry mix of crushed plastic waste and foundry dust, processed by Nitin and his colleagues. When put through an extruder, this comes out of the other side in the form of a slurry, ready to be moulded into any share or size required. At this construction site in Anand, where the silica plastic tiles are being used for waterproofing the walls, Nihar Agarwal of Upcycle Chakra points out that a silica plastic block is environmentally friendly in more than one way. It's very common if I imagine a cement or brick. First of all, it's water to add water to curing. It's water to add water to the water. So that's a part of the process. Now, what if I told you that instead of that, the technology that is being used to make all the products is using water which is even lesser than what a family of four uses in a month. Aapke ghar mein aap pura kar lo, usse bhi kam paani aaj use hota hai. That is how much, that's 
the only amount of water that goes into it. In addition to the less water it consumes, a silica building block is said to be two and a half times stronger than a regular brick at the same price. Passing these feasibility tests has allowed Manish to take this technology to four other units in India. What are we addressing? We are addressing a waste problem. The moment we are addressing a waste problem, so the waste is also at rural level, waste is also at taluka level. So we have now projects where we can work at 5 kg per hour. It's a lab model which can be fitted on one tabletop or we can take it to 1500 kg or 4000 kg per hour which is a modular expandable model. He visited an office space in Baroda city to see if silica building blocks work in the real world at all and what their use cases could be. At the Mukund and Rohit chartered accountancy firm, the flooring, furniture and even artefacts are made from silica plastic blocks, all as part of their corporate social responsibility. So what we done with this silica dust and a little bit of plastic, we made products which are decorative. This is actually something that we use as a paper block, it can be used as a floor tile, which can get kept as a wall painting. This is a brick which can be used in day to day construction. So, you have multiple uses. So, you can actually see physically. So, you know, for us now, waste is not kachra, waste is not waste, it is a raw material. So, we have to change the connotation. As of now, Manisha's company, Rhino Machines, has sold 20,000 products made of silica plastic blocks and claims to have saved 40 tons of plastic waste and 100 tons of foundry dust from going to the landfills. With the surface barely scratched, he and the community have a long way to go. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.